keeps him hot, hot. Certainly, the central marketplace of any great city is colorful and rings with a cacophony of sounds that attract shoppers and tourists. But it's often a different story on the back streets, dingy and gray with urban grunge. The bustling Machane Yehuda Market, or Shuk, is a well-known Jerusalem landmark. People travel from far and wide to buy vegetables, meat and fish, spices and treats. Chic cafes have sprung up. And now there is a project called Tabula Rasa to transform the surrounding streets with urban artwork. We have um, local artists from Jerusalem and street artists. And we have the shopkeepers and businessmen from the market cooperating with us. Actually, it came from them. They actually saw us working and we want to give a hand and we want to paint our own streets. So we took that offer and we brought, brought them together and we did a workshop which we um, taught them to do how to do stencils and how to spray and then they're gonna go down and spray the streets. I'm the Picasso of the hummus. They ask me to paint and why not? If we can do pretty things to this market, then I always participate. A month ago this area was a real mess, but they've managed to make it look a lot prettier and with recycled material. They took some tin and put in a little earth, a plant here, a planting there. They did a real nice job. Even the mayor showed up to do his part in the artistic endeavor. He said he saw no symbolism in the fact that he was given a stencil of a rat to paint. Uh, it means that I do what they tell me. <laughs> uh, I listen to the artists and do what they say. And uh, I, I think we should welcome projects like this where artists are accepted by the community. Garbage bins, exposed walls and concrete squares are all the palettes for the street art. When we have a joint venture between artists and uh, the commerce done here in the neighborhood, it creates a very, very nice atmosphere. Uh, it makes the place much more clean and much more wonderful and pretty. And uh, this is how it creates more people uh, that come here to enjoy Machne Uda. And this is exactly what we wanted. We wanted the place to come alive and it's coming alive. I think anyone can uh, be in artist or just to be able to color up the streets and put some life in it, even a vegetable sauce. From Jerusalem, this is Arye O'Sullivan reporting for the Media Live. <laughs>